from you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. New Man hey. Podcast. Tune Break in every day. Bang. Please tune in every day. All streaming platforms. All streaming platforms. Check me out. I'm a new man. new man. I'm no longer the same. Cause when Christ get on that cross, bro, my life forever changed. I'm a new man. New man. Just abide by faith. His love and grace, I forever embrace. I'm a new man, new man. transformed by grace, justified by faith. Jesus took my place. I'm a new man, new man. redeemed and free. His sacrifice I receive, I, I believe. believe. Yeah, dude. I'm a new man. new man. I'm no longer the same. Nope. Cause when Christ got on that cross, my, my life forever changed. Yeah, yeah dude. I'm sharing this message far and near. near. Letting the world know that we ain't got yeah. nothing to fear. Yeah. 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 I'm a new man. new man. Justified by faith. His love and grace. How forever it breaks. Yeah. I'm a new man. new man. Transformed by grace. Justified by faith. Jesus took my place. How you doing today? Today I want to talk to you about the power of forgiveness. In today's world filled with hurt, anger, and resentment, forgiveness stands as a beacon of hope, healing, and reconciliation. Forgiveness is not merely a human act, but a divine command and a reflection of God's unconditional love for us. The biblical foundation of forgiveness the Bible is replete with verses that highlight the significance of forgiveness. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus teaches us to seek forgiveness for our own sins while forgiving those who have sinned against us. That was in Matthew 6 and 12. This act of forgiveness lies at the heart of our relationship with God and with others. The power of forgiveness in healing. Holding on to anger, resentment, and bitterness can poison our souls and harm our physical health. Forgiveness, on the other hand, releases us from the burden of negativity and allows us to move forward with joy and and peace. Let me tell you about the story of Joseph. Cause consider that story. Who was sold into slavery by his own brothers. He faced adversity and injustice. Yet he chose to forgive his brothers and even save them from famine. His act of forgiveness not only healed his relationship with his family, but also led to God's blessings for his entire lineage. The power of forgiveness in reconciliation. Forgiveness bridges the gap between broken relationships. It is an act of humility and grace that allows us to mend fences and to restore harmony. Let's talk about the story of the prodigal son. That exemplifies the power of forgiveness and reconciliation. The father symbolizing God welcomes his wayward son with open arms, demonstrating unconditional love and forgiveness, overcoming obstacles to forgiveness. Forgiveness can be challenging, especially when we have been deeply hurt yet with God's help, we can overcome the obstacles that hinder forgiveness. Now let's recognize our own need for forgiveness. We are all sinners in need of God's forgiveness. Recognizing our own shortcomings can help us extend grace and compassion to other people. So what do we need to do? We need to choose to forgive. Forgiveness is a choice, not a feeling. It's a conscious decision to release the offender from our judgment and allow God to work in our lives. Praying for those who have hurt us can soften our hearts and open the door for healing and reconciliation. The blessings of forgiveness. 
Now, let me tell you about that. Forgiveness not only benefits the offender, but it also shows blessings upon the forgiver. It brings peace. It brings joy. It brings freedom and a deeper relationship with God. May we all strive to embrace the power of forgiveness in our lives. Let us release the burden of anger and resentment and instead choose to forgive as we have been forgiven. As we walk this path of forgiveness, we will experience the healing, reconciliation, and abundant blessings that God has in store for us. Let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of forgiveness. Help us to forgive those who have hurt us, just as you have forgiven us. Fill our hearts with love, compassion, and grace, and may we be instruments of your forgiveness in a world that desperately needs it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much for tuning in. May God be with you today. And may God, and we're going to keep trusting in God.